Hey guys, I'm gonna today talk about one of my local game stores I normally play at. It loses about 2,500 to uh, anywhere between 1,500 to 2,500 a month. There are some occasional months where it does make money and in those months it makes a lot of money, I believe at least. Uh, so I've been told. Uh, the game store is actually a video game store. Um, it sells uh, video games. It has a lot of uh, anime merchandise now like Previously it had none, it has retro games, so not only does it carry new ones. So imagine like if a GameStop combined with your local game store, and then that combined with a comic book store. That's what it is, except the store is not tailored towards like general, it won't carry general games, it won't carry general comics, it won't carry general anime merchandise. So if the guy is really into you know, Death Note, that's all they're going to carry. They will just carry Death Note. And if it doesn't sell, the guy is, uh, my friend, is more than happy just to uh, take the product and hold it, I guess. The same can be said for the Magic cards that he sells. Um, he also buys Pokemon collections, card collections, and video games. But it's not just like, uh, though how should I put it? So instead of buying like all the video games and going for value, he'll be very picky. So he'll only buy Zelda games, he'll only buy Pokemon games, he'll only buy Final Fantasy games, he'll only buy games, uh, Fire Emblem games, and that's it. And that's all the store carries. So instead of having a bunch of Amiibos, he'll just have the Fire Emblem Amiibos and that'll be it. Uh, so the, the, the goal of this store isn't really to generate profit, it's kind of as the way he puts it is it's a beacon to attract people to sell me stuff very cheaply and it works. For that goal, it works very well. And I've been able to get a lot of uh, very good deals actually. Um, there was that one time, like four years ago when this was more common, a guy comes in, he has dual lands. This was before my friend really even knew what magic was. And he was like, hey, this guy has this card. I'm gonna snap a picture of it. He says it's really valuable. And it was pretty much a 20 different dual lands and like some damage, some SP. I don't have any of them currently with me, but uh, I mean, they were excellent trade bait when, bait when I had them. I, it was a very good deal. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I remember it being like buy list or lower at the time, which is always very good. Uh, he offered less than buy list, um, but he showed it to me at buy list. So he made that little cut from uh, that deal. Uh, which, you know, he, he needs to keep his lights on. So the store it loses quite a bit of money because it carries merchandise that the owner could sell, but does not sell. It also does not have, um, it doesn't even have a Google Maps page. It's not, um, you know, it doesn't have anything a real store would have uh, in terms of like promote. It doesn't have a Facebook page. It doesn't have a website. Uh, it doesn't, and I've asked him, hey, you know, I can, you know, I build websites, and I'll build you one for free, and we'll just like throw it up there. He's like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. And yeah, so it's pretty much, um, it's in an area where the rent is extremely high. So it's in Houston, Houston, not outside Houston. And the rent is extremely high, but the things he's been able to buy from a collection standpoint have just been kind of once, he's come across once in a lifetime collections, like, uh, for Super Nintendo, NES, and he'll just be like, nah, I'm gonna buy a Chrono Trigger and then I'm gonna make a few phone calls and then if he can flip it then, he'll flip it then, otherwise he'll just let it go back in the wild. Uh, so the store loses a tremendous amount um, and I think it loses a ton. Uh, it, uh, Magic Cards must make it money because he's making a profit. Um, he's definitely making a profit from them because there's always that margin or, otherwise he doesn't sell it. But everything else, I think just bleeds money into the store. So I don't know how long it's gonna last. Uh, his, I know his rent is over in January, so I don't know if he's gonna renew or he's had enough, but it's really sad. So I'm, I am spending more and more time at the store now, at that particular store. Anyway, bye guys.